Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarp from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business. Here I am sitting in my car, but this time I will review a package I found recently. Well, it was noticeable all over the internet, all over Twitter. So Marcel Potiat released a few packages recently, and one of them is really spectacular, called Laravel ER Diagram Generator. So first, I will show you the readme file, so what it is. Uh, basically it transforms your model suite like all the models into a graphical interface for your database so I will show you how it works I've actually done it already so I have a database which I had I had a demo project recently for for viewing uh, sorry footballer salaries I've done a, a video on that you can check it out in the show notes in the description so there are quite a few entities and the database looks like this so like 10 ta tables or so with some data with some relationships belongs to and belongs to many so quite a thing to test on right so what I've done is uh, I've seeded the database just totally fresh then it's just compose require well to be honest, before that, you need to install a tool to generate the graphs, which I've done in my homestead, which is, uh, what's that called? Graph this, this one. Uh, next, I've installed the package. Uh, I've published published the vendor folder, the configuration to vendor, the, to vendor fo folder. Excuse me, and uh, the only thing I've actually changed in the config is this. So, where to take your models from? Uh, in my case, it's a default structure for Laravel, which doesn't have models. It's just the app path. Uh, and then I launch generate ERD. Let's try that again. And it, it's really quick. So, 8 out of 8, which means that it processed 8 entities. And let's see what we've got. So we go into folder, and it should have generated graph.png, which it did. So what is graph.png? This is how it looks. So this is the result. Uh, this is set of my tables with relationships, with comments, what is belongs to many or belongs to. Uh, the fascinating thing is, I didn't dig deeper into the package, but... Um, it didn't show the unnecessary tables. So, for example, migrations table isn't present here. Password resets also isn't present. I'm not sure if it's because they don't have relationships or if they are just excluded as default Laravel tables. So these two. And then table permission role, for example, which is belongs to many relationships. It's a pivot table. It's not here. Instead of that, there are two tables, role and permission and an arrow with a comment belongs to many. Uh, also, all of the fields are really clearly defined with with their type. All the structure is really visible, readable. So it's a really nice way to quickly have your uh, database entities structured for, for example, for discussion with your teammates or even with the client. I'm not sure how it would work with much bigger bigger projects with like 50 tables or so. I'm sure I will test it out in the future, but that's a really nice way to visualize your database. Uh, the link will be in the description of YouTube video, and I recommend that package a lot. Thanks, Marcel, and I probably will see you at Laracon EU uh, or elsewhere on Twitter. Nice job, and keep going. And for you guys, subscribe to the channel Laravel Business if you want to have more videos, comment if you have any comments about that package, and see you in the next videos.